Shalom. Jag som är gevåld precis om en gloria till Jehova. Bara som jag säger. Double honors unto the elders at Greek Millstone that rule well. That taught us this 100, 100% truth. You know. Um, salutations unto the Archeum. Going out there and laboring and, you know, pushing this truth here in sincerity. Shalom unto the Aquats. Being obedient unto the husband. And faithful and taking heed of this word, you know, because um, this here is your brother Yassad from the Trinidad GMS um, Prophetic Vibration Camp. Yeah, and today, this lesson here, willing that is edifying, going to be concerning, you know, having, having your wife under the law is a blessing. Yeah, because for the for, for a man within the street to, to get a wife under this law and an Israelite woman being under the law and, and mm. taking heed of this word and being obedient and faithful to the husband that is a blessing for me how about Shemi Oshai because the, the way how we we women have gone astray it it, it, it way badly off uh, are you watching so much videos and things showing you how, how woman is is nowadays? Mm. It's hard to find a, a good woman. They're full of deceit, lying and, and just full of themselves. And and as the so-called white man, he saw Edom from years upon years just pushing pride in them. You know, even lo looking at the the law system right the system um when you look at the court system and and so forth they give they give the woman more of a right than man mm. Mm. you know and all of that is just that, that is just the wickedness of this kingdom here that we live in that's why it's the the earth is given into the hands of the wicked mm. So um, I'm going to go down into the scriptures here. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 22. It says, Whoso findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, and obtaineth favor of the Lord. Yeah. Because one that findeth a wife, and we're not talking about a, a woman, you know, just in, in the... Who will Can you mind from you instead of Kevin? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, so like, yeah. we are talking just like a woman in the world and who, who just, you know, being with the husband and, and in all of them other doctrines and Christianity mm -hmm. and so forth. But we talking about actually a woman under the law, I have a shame or shy, you know, that being obedient and faithful unto the husband, that, that having the, the head tie within mother's apparel taking care of the home and the household hmm. I would say um, um, whoso find it a, a wife find it a good thing and obtain it favor of your Hashem and Shai so actually that is actually a blessing because hmm. not all brothers within the truth they have a wife under the law because there are some some of them who had a wife before they come into to this marvelous light and you know they have kids with them and so forth and they don't want to you know depart from them because even in the scripture um in in first Corinthians, i think it's chapter seven that talking about the unbelieving wife to be um sanctified by the unbelieving husband you know but yeah, well, I'm, I'm a tough fuck when I go into it one time. Please go and change chapter 7. It was 14, so. I'll start at, at verse 11. Let's see. No, I'll say, start at verse 10. Let's see, and unto the married I command, yet not I, but the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yashai. Let not the wife depart from the husband, you know, yeah, and are married. The, the, the marriage, you know, well, 
the marriage of this modern day with the so-called white man, you know, implement that, which is, I guess, say, is just a social marriage. Mm. You know, some do to the um the warden office, which is much cheaper. He saw them done dead already. Them know what we preach, what we bury, what we six feet rotten in the night. Yeah, so like, yeah, you know, hmm. you can either play your phone on airplane mode, enter the disturbance and distractions, that's so like, yeah. Um, mm. I'll go back into this. And there's 10, it says, And unto the married I command, yet not I, but the Lord Yahweh Hashem and Shai, let not the wife depart from her husband. Yeah, as I was saying earlier on, you know, the, the marriage is actually intercourse, you know, sexual intercourse actually is, is you and that, that woman becoming one, you know, even look at Adam and Eve, well, they, they had intercourse and, and they made each other become, become one. Now we're going to get our scripture as well to um, the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 22 and verse 5. As this year is actually with um, a married. Or should it like, yeah, um, no, okay. Gen- it's Genesis chapter 24 and verse 67. Yeah, with Abraham, well, Isaac and Sarah, right? Um, let's see, and Isaac brought her into his mother's Sarah's tent and took Rebecca, and she became his wife, and he loved her, and Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. You know, it, it didn't spoke of any marriage or any pastor being involved in, or anything. All we just state here is Isaac brought her into his his mother his mother Sarah's tent. You know, and took Rebecca and she became his wife. Yes, yeah, so this is actually to show you that that um sex is marriage. I think as well have an next scripture to Exodus chapter twenty two. And verse 16. Let's see. And if a man entice a maid, right? Which is to entice as meaning desire, you know? When you go down into that word desire or, or, or want or so forth, a maid as a woman that is not betrothed, right? That betrothed is, is not engaged or. or not being married, so forth, as meaning single, and lie with mm. her, right? That lie going into, into sexual intercourse, so it's not just talking about lying down on the bed and, and being distanced, but it talks about, it's speaking about sexual intercourse. He shall surely endow her to be his wife, you know? Hmm. So she will actually become his wife. Hmm. But nowadays, here you know, it is, right? For you and someone to marry, you had to have over ten thousand hmm. dollars, according to this wicked system. And as we under captivity, there's a there's a lot of money for most of, most of us. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Even look at look at how how sad it is just for the wedding mm. dresses alone. There's be a couple thousand dollars. Mm. And then you go on to invite guests and to cater for guests to the wedding as well. Mm. And all sorts of drama and everything costs money. Mm. As I I said, just to show you how we saw on that captivity, yeah? and and we always be the buyer and they always be the merchants. Yeah. 
was the Catola do Stor Shiloka um, Stor Maya, all of them clothing stores and things. They, they own the, the major clothing stores and fashion stores. They own by the heathens. You know? Hmm. That's like why we, we enter land and, and they are the merchants and, and we are, we are always the buyers. Hmm. But we know low well into the power here about Shimu Shai. Soon all of the say will be over. So then we'll go back into the um scripture in the first king, the end chapter seven. Um it goes on to say, but and if she depart, let her remain unmarried or be reconciled to her husband, and let not the husband put away his wife, you know? So so it's if she depart as as they break up or she you know. Because the only way a man could put away a woman is, is true, like if she commit adultery and, and 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 she not being obedient unto the man is those types of things that, that a man could put away a woman for. But um even the mm. Lord say let not the, the husband put put away his wife, you know? Hmm. But to the rest, speak I, not the Lord, if any brother hath a wife that believeth not. Right? Now going into she, not believing in, in this truth and in this gospel. It say, and she be pleased to dwell with him, let him not put her away. Yeah, because it's not all the brothers around the world to be fought. You need to have a have a wife under the law and under, you know, this gospel here, to you and, and call upon your bashing and shy. Hmm. But as as it say here, that if any brother had a wife that believeth not, and she please it, and she be pleased to dwell with him, let him not put her away. Yeah. So not because she not following after you, you have to put she away. Or if she would like to dwell with you and you okay with it. Yes, yeah, she can stay. It say, and a woman which hath an husband that believeth not. And if he be pleased to dwell with her, let her not leave him. So just as um to and fro. You know, so the be the um the husband that do believe in this, right? And the wife that that, that I believe it believe it in this gospel, you know. He he is it is okay for him to dwell with her. You know? So it goes on to say for the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife. And the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband. Mm-hmm. Else were your children unclean else were your children unclean but now are they holy. Yeah, and I suggest you read through this word and, and you know, to this gospel. You know, that way they, they say this is what the, the water of life. You know, how shall a man cleanse his way? I think in he that is wood. You know, so this here is say that the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife. You know, so just as, just as back in the days and Noah, you know, because preferably to me, within my eyes, Noah, Noah family was saved to him. You know, because uh, as I'd say, the unbelieving wife could be sanctified, right, by the um believing husband. Hmm. So that is why even within this, I'd say, um, one third could be saved because apart from the elect, you know, to the scriptures, we believe that the wanted is actually the woman and children, you know, of the, the elect. Uh, so it goes on to say, but if the unbelieving depart, let him depart. A brother or sister is not under bondage in such cases, but Yahweh had called us to peace. 
Yeah. Because <clears throat> if someone decides to have a, a so-called even a divorce or depart, you can't, you can't hold them down. You know, you have to allow them to depart. No good, huh? Going to... Uh, Prophets chapter 30 and verse 10. Let's see, um, 31. So, okay, 31 and verse 10. Let's see who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies, you know. Yeah, and, and I'm not going to that word virtuous. Virtuous, let's see. Um, we're going to say having or exhibiting virtue, moral excellences, righteousness. You know, so it all going back to righteousness, and what makes a person righteous? You know, is is the laws, keeping the laws, such and commandment. Is, is what makes a person righteous. So it's actually saying, who can find a righteous woman? For price is far above rubies. Hmm. It goes on to say, the heart of a husband doth safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. Yeah. So nowadays, with these, with these wicked Wicked woman, you know, yeah, you had a continuously keep an eye on them mm, because they being um in their minds being inveigled by the friends, you know, because they live in a life of uh, um, adultery and you know, with and just being in their lust and in their wickedness, mm. yeah, it's a so that he shall need, shall have no need of spoil, you know, with your wife being um, a trustworthy person, you know, you would not have no need for an ex-wife, because, you know, you have a, a, a good woman, a, a woman under the law being obedient unto you, seeing about the household and so forth, she will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. <laughs> Yeah, all of these things here is just a woman that being righteous, you know. Some men is go through some kind of things with women because why? Um, the 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 lady pump pump rule over them. Hmm. But we as men in the truth, we know the the um woman supposed to be subjected unto the man, you know, and and be under obedience and and humble themselves. Hmm. If a man if a woman rule over you in this truth, then you can't call yourself a man of the Lord. Hmm. Yeah. You know, we ought to be the um the the rulers and the provisor provider of the household. Hmm. Yeah, well in this wicked kingdom as we under bondage, some of our women had a work, you know. Hmm. Some of the women had a work and sometimes due to the work they, they had to wear pants and so forth but that is where all the grace and thing comes in. Yeah but hmm. although a woman actually not supposed to be wearing pants eh, but eh, you never know some brother's situation. You know but once once a brother in a position where your wife could not work and avoid these things, it it would be, you know, it would be a, a wonderful thing. 
because um when we go into the even in Deuteronomy it shows you that a woman a man not supposed to be having on what pertain to a woman neither a woman supposed to have on pert- what pertain to a man because that is abomination hmm. when we go into that Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5 it says, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy power. Yeah. So, hmm. and I just show you in this wicked kingdom, plenty of the jobs, they require pants. Hmm. And, and we are in captivity, so you will see most of we so-called um, blacks, Latinos, Hispanics, you know, so-called Negroes and, and whatever. We work in the, the, the job that at a low status, you know. You will see most of the people work in Subway and KFC and in the grocery and, and so forth. Yeah, hmm. it, it's hard to see, but, you know. To the transgressions and, and mm. so forth. Israel provoked the most high. But now is the chance for we to redeem back ourselves, you know, and, and uplift the curses and and let le blessing let we blessings rain forth, you know. But everything is up on due time. We know all the prophecies had a fulfill. We just had a holy faith. You know, and enjoy until the end. Hmm. Um, we'll go back into the Proverbs. Thirty-one and verse thirteen. It say, "She seek it wool and flax, and work it willingly with her hands." You know. Yeah, because a lot of these women, these nowadays women, they don't want to cook. You know, they don't want to do nothing. Hmm. And uh, and uh, the, these songs, the singing, is just is just pure wickedness. Like we watch out those songs and like Nicki Minaj and and um. Cardi B and these sell out wicked Israelite women sing. It gives these it gives these women out there pride. You know? Hmm. When they even less really take in and listen to, to, to those two. It gives those women pride and make them feel higher and above the man. Hmm. That's how it's in, in, in the scripture that a woman go come past a man. Hmm. And all of that is, is a so-called white man being as well as a saving on too. Mm. You know? Hmm. Yeah. I'd say, she is like the merchant ship. She bring it, her food from afar. You know? She rise it also while it is yet night and give it meal to her household and a portion to her maidens. Yeah, because a good woman before husband get up, she go be cooking and having things prepared for him to, you know, eat. Well, because all of us have to work. If we don't work, we wouldn't be able to see about the household and, and you know, eat. Yeah, so a, a good woman, they go prepare food for her husband when he wake up and when he go in and, and come out, you know. She can consider it a feel. And by it, with the fruit of her hands, she planted a vineyard. Mm. Yeah. And a lot of those women who are now working and thing and, and, and they, they live in a land that, they live in an area that have plenty of land and thing. You know, it would it, it, be a nice thing that they try their hand. You know, they plant something, they make a nice little garden and so forth. She girded her loins with strength and strengthened her arms. Yeah, because a woman had to actually be strong out here. You know? 
and and on the husband women because women actually so easy to deceive and, and so forth. They um their loss of vanity and thing I believe it is much higher than than of a man. Hmm. So yeah, so they they need to continuously be in this world mm. and strengthen themselves um spiritually as well as physically. She perceive it that her merchandise is good, a candle go it out not out by night, you know, so she always have anything prepared, you know. Mm. Yeah and and as I say, she perceived that her merchandise is good, you know, as shopping and things. She can look for, you know, the most appropriate and, and good stuff. Hmm. Um, well, yeah, the whole, this whole, um, this whole chapter on Dong from verse, from verse 10 is, is just concerning the woman. Don't tell me this video too long, you know. All all who listening and watching, mm. they could um, feel free to read down, you know. And it's all straightforward and self-explanatory, you know. But having a woman under the law and um, being obedient and thing is, is a blessing from the Lord. Yeah. Because you yourself, you know, you will be feeling proud within yourself as a man, you know, that when you go home, you have a, a nice, beautiful wife that organizing a meal for you, you know, morning, um, lunchtime, and, and, you know, night, yeah, and all the scene about the household and thing. A lot of people is go through a lot of things with, with, with wicked women out there, you know, and, it is not nice, but we know, um, low willing future time to come, that within the kingdom, women to actually be on a full obedience. You know, mm. even the time of Jacob's trouble, you know, as I'd say, um, um, seven women get cleave onto one man in that day. Yeah, because that will be when. <coughs> When all hell break loose, you know, and within the time I had Jacob's trouble and all of them things, women get being fair. Only women that say that hey, they don't need a man and they're independent and things. When those, when those perilous times come with all these diseases and, diseases and plagues all over, bombs dropping, people getting raped, people getting murdered, lack of bread on the land, you know. All, all those things. In that time, a woman go long and beg for a man, but not just an ordinary man, but a man of the Lord. Mm. Yeah. Because it's really obvious in those times that, yeah, how about Shemir is so going to provide for his elect? You know? Mm. Hello? Well, and I hope this um, lesson was edifying. And, you know, I just want to say shallow.